see flexing going on. Dana is flexing. Where's the other one? <laughs> he can't have just one of those, right? He's got to have like five, right? Well, uh, just to kick things off a little bit. So notice the box is sealed. Told you. <laughs> and notice the eyes are not correct. Oh, mm. fake, fake, fake. I went ahead. I After hearing and seeing how much these have been going for, I just, I couldn't bring myself to crack it open yet. Oh, um, what are they going for? I haven't seen. Like 150 bucks or something ridiculous. Really? And I say ridiculous because I'm like, what? So That's I decided, but I wanted to build it. So luckily I had 95, 98% of the pieces. Uh, I had to wait, fake wait, wait. Let's pause on that. Luckily, that you had all the parts. Let's just go. <laughs> you were pretty much guaranteed to have all the parts. No, because because, because you need to I go to Matt to talk about this. There are some uncommon parts in this bad boy. So, when <laughs> you come into us plebeians, not no, to, no. Uh... There, there, there are several parts in here that are new that are not common. Um, well, I should take take that back. There is one specific part uh, that is not very common and is very new. Uh, and that's one of these guys right here. I know. Dramatic pause. Say hi to Ryan and all those guys. Suspense. Okay. So this little guy in blue. Oh. Mm. He is not common. Is that sand blue or regular blue? No, that's regular old blue. Mm, I don't think that's I don't, a new I, element. That's a new element. That is a newer element. Uh, the eyes are also uh, unique mm -hmm. to the actual set. And I was actually surprised the, um, <laughs> the, 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 the arch, the half arch, these, these half arches, uh, just like this gray one here. Yeah. But in reddish Brown, mm -hmm. uh, those are not very common either. I just had to buy some off a of brick Lincoln that cost me way too much money. See, see, see. And then there was some, oh, oh, oh. And actually there's something that I had to completely fake because I didn't have any of them. The, these little fun snot bricks or snot plates. Mm. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Yep. You don't have You those? didn't have any of those? In dark gray or yeah, are we, are we I, just I calling, have gray. Are we calling light have, gray or uh, like light, light bluish gray? We just call it light gray. We don't have to re refer to the fact that I'm referring to. Yeah, dark it's 2024. Gray. It's 20. Yeah, I don't understand why those old. Well, I mean, I, I understand old gray, but you know. Yeah. So, so in medium in dark stone gray, they would normally be 10, five and five on both sides. So I had to fake it with uh, some black ones. And then just use some plates and some top or some plates to fill in the corners here. Uh, because yeah, those are like 2024, 2023, 2024 sets. I did not have any of these in uh dark bluish gray. So oh, there you uh, go. So and it requires and of all the sets that are out right now that have these in uh dark gray, they, they come with like one or two, maybe three. This bad boy needs 10. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, needless to say, so when I say luckily I had most of the parts, it is true because um, I did have to cheat a little bit to get it to work without it, having to buy some parts. So. Was it just me, or were the, those browns look like they were different shades as well? The the two by four tiles on the top didn't seem to match the arches when you were showing it. It could be the lighting. Yeah, I guess. Could be like oh, and. Uh, I had to the on the side here. I had to use uh, three one by four bricks. They're supposed to be two, uh, two by two by one by three panels. Mm -hmm. They're also not common. Mm -hmm. Again, things that I would thought. Oh, I've got plenty of those. Oh no, nope, nope, nope. nope. <laughs> uh, and then I also uh, swapped out. There was a couple of uh, one by two snot bricks that are supposed to be in reddish brown. I had to use one by one. Uh, snot bricks because I didn't have any one by two snot bricks in Reddish Brown. So had to make some substitutions. I'll forgive you. But again, uh, I wanted to build it and I didn't have to open up my actual copy. Brand. 
Well, now so I'm, that, I'm that begs myself, the question: I, Are you actually going to sell it, or are you just going to act like you don't want to break the seal on it and go put it in the basement? Yes. <laughs> I wish that I had bought the set so I could flip it for a third of the price of the set. Seriously, I mean, well, I, I, I have bought, I have got so many GWPs down in the archives that I could probably sell, uh, and would have sold or should have sold. And Matthew probably sold two or three times as many of them as I have. <laughs> But I just can't bring myself to it. I just can't is the Space to it. Baby set, is it still like skyrockety high or is it settled back down? Uh, you know what? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, it's still averaging about $70 or $80 Canadian in most cases. So, so I'm assuming it's 50 60 US easily, if not more. Remember the, now, the, the Castle set, the gift with purchase? The Castle set? The, the little Castle set that came out, I don't know. The Magisto one with the magician or the yeah, no, the Magisto one or the yeah. treehouse, yeah, the treehouse one, I think, or the tree. Well, now the, the treehouse was the forestman, <clears throat> and then there was yeah. Magisto's hut. I don't remember. I sold four. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Are you talking this one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That one sold well. The Magisto yeah. one did not sell as well because they they chinsed out on the Magisto. Yeah. Yeah. I did not keep any. I sold them all. If you're going to have chintz on something, don't chintz on your Majesto. Uh, exactly. I carry your Majesto. Just be careful. Whatever that means. Yeah. Uh, all right. Glad you're here. We have a lot of folks. Uh, Axel Plate here. A uh, Wax Plate here. Entertainingly Lane. Brick Jedi is here. Oh, number uh, five. Cloud Bricks. Hello. Entertainingly Lane. Uh, Fat Daddy Bricks. Hello. Uh, Steve Yogan. And is that how we, we determine? And he, anyway. Hello, Steve. Fall Equinox is here. Uh, and it is also, uh, it is Eclipse Day. This is what our Eclipse pretty much looked like today. Actually, that's a little bit better Eclipse than what ours was, but you're it right. Was. Uh, my friend Colin, uh, Mark and I know him from way back in the Lego days. He was in the Path of Totality in Dallas, and they were able to see it even in spite of clouds and stuff. So, Totality. I, I had several friends across the whole band uh, from work and stuff like that. And wow, I mean, there were some really cool pictures that people were, were able to take. I was impressed. Yeah. My camera yeah. failed to take anything worthwhile. I had uh, I had students skip out of class and I said, just use your just look at your cell phone and point your cell phone at the thing. Don't look at it. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, they are saying that it could bring your cell phone uh, lend, like your cell phone optics out as well. Okay. Oh, well, I'm it. not legally responsible for that. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> Thanks, now, Dr. Now. Gunning. You ruined my phone. That's what I did in 2017 when I was in the path of the totality in Hartwell, Georgia. Hartwell, Hartwell. Georgia. Uh, I always think, of, I, don't look at it, Marion. Keep your eyes shut. We had, we had a bunch of people outside, and I just came out. I looked at it. I said, cool. Is everyone going back to work now? Fucking <laughs> mean, boss. Nice. You're such a captain. <laughs> so mean. I, I, shared, I shared the uh, the Google search bar for uh, someone else had someone else did it, but it was like my eyes hurt. Why do my eyes hurt? And it like climbed at about two thirty, three o'clock. Well, the best one, Jake. Jake showed me a picture of a Waffle House sign with the with the thing on it, and then there was another video of somebody panning through their city, and it and the uh, the totality happened, and the Waffle House sign lit up. Pretty near it. It was live. It's like that's awesome. <laughs> that was. I, I, I saluted, and it was it was beautiful. Tear, you know, a grease coming out. You know, it was, it was beautiful. When when I went to Hartwell in 2017, the thing that that I didn't expect was that when it actually got dark and it was like twilight, dusk, dark, all the streetlights came on, and I wasn't even thinking about the fact. I I guess you know I was like maybe they're on a clock, but no, they're on a light meter. So it was like, mm -hmm. like click 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 click, and then. Yeah. Here's the other thing. Dogs started barking. So I don't know if they were like, what is up with the lights? Or like, where did the sun yeah. goes? But the dogs were like, ooh, 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 ooh. We had some we had some geese in our parking lot at work. They didn't they didn't know what was going on. They were just like they stopped flying and they started walking around looking up at the sun I'm like geese, don't look at the sun, you idiots. But <laughs> well, there uh one of one of the guys I work with, he heard um some birds at that time of the day that he normally only hears in the morning. So yeah, it, it, it messes with them. It messes with the animal. Yeah. 
the birds. Well, why, why don't chirping. the birds look at like those Canadian geese that are so annoying? Why don't they look up and burn their retinas out? Ah! Yeah. Well, no, they just see the light. <laughs> the, they, the nighttime happened so quick, and then the, the daylight was back, and they were like, "Oh, it's morning. Let's sing the song. Let's sing the song of my people." Uh, we had the lights come on, like our not street lights, but our house lights came on automatically, uh, like the the, the spotlights. Uh, we I did hear the birds chirping louder than I normally would. I think um, I'm not usually out at that time of the day either. You know, it's one of those. Because they were but, awake. Uh, also, uh, the mosquitoes. I I saw my first mosquitoes during that time because they usually come out at dusk. Yeah. And they were like, and in an area I don't normally see them, like on my laneway. Usually they'd be in my backyard on the grass or whatever. Yeah. Um, Somebody on Instagram was commenting about the mosquitoes being out too. So yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Supposedly there were sightings of Fleebnorks as well. Mm. Yes. You know, I, I there was an interesting fact that I was reading that the um uh you know the b b with the moon because the earth is like what 70 plus percent covered in water um and the water is not carbonated it means the earth is technically flat. <laughs> <laughs> Quality dad joke coming from Sandlin today. Oh, it is a very man. weird day. Talk about the long game on that one. <laughs> where is he going with this? Carbonated. I knew where he was going. I've heard that. Oh. Today, so yeah. okay. That was for Matthew. I'm ready. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready. You know what? You know this. This. This <laughs> is a. Uh, this is a prime moment to segue. I saw people posting things. Uh, I'm marked safe from. Uh, the apocalypse, the rapture, the rapture. Um, <laughs> flat earth, people getting blocked from the sun. I mean, it's 2024. I mean, are we really dealing with people who still think that an eclipse is the nigh is, is near or what? I mean, no. come on, Chris. These are your people. Defend them. I in some know. Way. I, I can't defend. I All right. Here we go. Did you guys, speaking of eclipse, did you guys see this little video today on Lego's Instagram? Oh, 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 oh. oh this is, this is, oh, ha, 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 ha. Wait, I mean, it'll recycle through. Yeah. I can't make it bigger, but uh, it's look at this. so good. No slobbering on your screens. Oh, uh, I needed oh, a moment in a cigarette this morning after I saw this. <laughs> Well, the best part is, is they sneak Benny or they sneak up, sneak the modern booster off of the the modern rendition of the of the uh, Galaxy Explorer. Right, he comes in right there. So, uh, ah. but, but everything else is classic, and it's kind of in order if you've noticed. Well, they um, do. Fin well, I mean, other I, than the one, other than the ships that are pulling the moon, because they do right. they do finish. They start off on the Alpha One and Alpha they finish one. off on the uh, Polaris. It's a little wonky order, but yeah, it, it feels a little order. No, the, the best thing is Daniel over there yeah. with the comment, we want Citron. <laughs> Classic <laughs> Daniel. Classic Daniel. Well, uh -huh. the real question is, is did Dana loan did Dana loan all this to Adam to make the stop motion? That's what I want to know. I don't think that was made by Adam. Uh, yeah, I would love to know how they made it, but... Uh... Um, I love, and if you notice the robot command center just going all wiggly wild, and oh, yeah, just like wild cracks wild. me up. <laughs> <laughs> all, all of the arms moving. Uh, 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 See, I'm, I'm telling you, it's a good set. It is, it is a good parts pack for <laughs> people, sure. People love it or hate it. it. There's no image. It was a fun set to play with as a kid. It was fun. Fun. I know it's weird looking, I know it's kind of silly. Fun. But it was fun. The playability was a 10. Play value. Play value. It had a Play rover. Value. It had a flyer. It had a rocket. It had bendy arms. It had a command did center it, on the top. Did its rover stand up under its own weight? Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks, Mayor. <laughs> nice to see you back with us. We missed you. No, That's we didn't. Right. <laughs> nice. uh, just for Meredith, there it is right there. Yes, so, uh, yes, yes. I had no uh, idea what she was getting at either. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been on the show? <laughs> How slow are you today? Did you that stare at the eclipse too sarcasm, hard? Sarcasm, people. Sarcasm. Sarca sarcasm. Sarcasm. You mean do you mean sardonic? I I don't know. I don't know. Well, you know what? It's been a minute. So let's go ahead and put her on the screen. Meredith, we are so glad you're back with us. Whee! I got with hair a little bit. You might attempt to part. I mean, that's a fantastic. 
Yeah, I'm not a big fan, but I have to be happy because I have hair. So you're living. Um, I'm living. Um, yeah, radiation. Uh, radiation was tiring because you know chemo I would do once every two weeks. Radiation I had to go every day, oh. and um, yeah, that. And then I had to drive. It was a thirty minute drive over there. And sometimes I'd be there for 15 minutes. Sometimes I'd be there for an hour because they'd be behind and then another 30 to 40 minutes back. So I just was constantly tired. So I am slowly coming back to the land of living, but um, working on my brick world mock that I realized I bit off way, way, way too much to chew. Classic mare. Classic. Classic. And I'm making things that are round. Classic mare. Classic me. Classic me. So working on some trees that are big scale. Hold on. Let me go. Act like a nope, no, 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 no. Settings. Take two. Camera. Rear facing. There we go. It's a big tree. Making some tree. Oh, yeah. it's awesome. Yes. And I could take you to show the other tree. And here's the destination that is our basement right now. <laughs> the destination. Nice. And and more decimation. What is it? The path and of more. totality? <laughs> yes. There, there, there's your spaceship. So this spaceship. is this is the other part of it, which I have to build a lot of trees. That's cool. So it's a homage to elves. So How about, I've never built. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw your Insta pictures up real quick. Keep talking. It's a homage to elves. I use black sausages. That was fun. And now I'm really regretting it because it's a lot of work and a lot of brick. Yeah, and there's there's the I, base of it's right behind you. <laughs> Safe. There we go. Safe. That's it. I want to go back. There we go. I'm back. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Got so, your yeah, I, uh, talk to us about these. So I, I've named the redhead one Red Zelda or Relda. And uh, the one sitting down is, I'm, I'm calling her Michelle Musashi because she has like a mess, messy samurai hair bun. And then the last one, um, I'm calling her, I'm calling her, uh, you know, Tina, but T-E-N-A because she's Teal Zena. <laughs> Tina, go get some ham. <laughs> Tina. Not Tina Belcher. Yeah. So I tried, I want to do something different with this mock and not build mini fig scale. And now I am regretting it <laughs> immensely. It is, a, you know, the, you got lots of folks are giving you lots oh, of you. pops. Yep, 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 yep. Yes. And there's going to be, there's going to be glowing crystals and sparkling stars and lots and lots of elves friends colors I can we just like say can we just all agree kind. had meredith gone on lego masters she would have kicked everybody's rear end can we just go ahead and say that yep, yep. No. yeah yes. yep yes yes that's, yes that's, cheers that's, that's facts that's facts super uh, facts. But, but again you, you you do need to add like a leprechaun to that a leprechaun yeah because you got you know, rainbows and... I was thinking the same thing. It just sounded like a Saturday morning television for a time. There is... No, there was... If you've actually watched the lore on elves, there's no leprechauns in Elvendale. I, I am not as up on my elves lore as I should be. I am only up on the elves lore because the Netflix series came out when Natalie had her adenoids and ear tubes. And she was miserable for a week. So guess what? We watched three times <laughs> the Lego Elves Netflix special. There are worse ways to spend time with your child. I know, I know, but now now I know all the lore. And uh, this isn't lore specific. This was just parts I had that looked good together in colors that were cool and frenzy. So frenzy so now oh, i am sitting here there. making more leaves oh that that should be a tile that needs to be handed out in chicago this year meredith is my favorite building 
That's right. Man, you guys are going to make me blush, and I'm actually having a hot flash. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> yeah, that's that's the fun side effects of chemo is if you're a woman, you go typically go into menopause, which is really great because my cancer was estrogen based. It fed off estrogen. So being in menopause is great. But at the same time, now I'm getting hot flashes like no tomorrow. That doesn't sound good. All the guys in the room went, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't, know, I, know, I don't think that we don't know what she's talking about. We just oh, don't no. want to talk about it. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, I, I just sent the Earth is Flat dad joke to my friend, and he, he sent me a yellow card for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like it. I like it. Hilarious. All right, Meredith, oh, we're so oh. glad you're hanging out with us tonight. So, and uh, Brian has purchased enough materials to build 65 new Hashima cubes. Oh, my gosh. He did a bulk order from Burkina, and it was funded. We, we sold all of our GVC stuff. News update. We, we sold all of our GVC stuff. Um, it sold to Nick so that folks want to do GVC at any of the Atlanta brick cons or brick fan fests. Nick has motors. He has controllers. He has the, you know, the balls. Here comes the joke. He has all the great <laughs> to do the safety fencing. So we sold all that to Nick and he put it back into Burkina because if you bought the stuff from Burkina, it's like a, from Burkina, I want to say it's like 60 or $70 to build a cube. But if you build a cube from U.S. based sellers, it's like 100 and 110. Ooh. So if anyone wants to buy a cube or buy some materials, um, we did the bulk ordering. No one has to buy. We just he wanted to do that so that he would have enough cubes around. So Maybe there four. you go. Make you like four. All vowel. right. I'd like to buy a vowel, please. I vowel. probably will just take you up on that since I know that you've got the parts pre-selected. I mean, I I I did choose a lot of my lug bolt parts around building a cube but it, you know brian's already got it worked out i'll just you know he got it he has it optimized too because that's what he does all day instead of gro grocery shopping <laughs> priorities he's our hero yeah. not your hero but our hero yes so now he's been he's been he built um do you know at atlanta brick con i cannot remember the guy's name oh i feel so terrible nate who was one of the original Brolog, and he brought that highway that had the cool LEDs in it. Yes. Mm. So Brian has built his own version of it that's slightly different, and he's made it so there's a double wide cube that it's going to go under and through. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. So get excited. No, that's <clears> awesome. <throat> All right. Uh, I, let's uh, go ahead. I was just gonna say I want just a shout out to uh, Wax Platt because he's doing a cube. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming that he will be participating when is it is it Bricktastic? Bricktastic 2025. Everybody's doing it. Bricktastic's yeah. doing it. Um, uh, Bricking Barbaria. Um, what's the UK one? Bricktastic is the UK one. What's the uh, Brickvention is doing yeah. one? They're even gonna do one at Bricks Cascade. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's like Oprah. You get you you get it. You get a new Hashima, and you get a new Hashima. Everyone's getting a new Hashima. And they all have to. They all have to adhere to Meredith's standards. Uh, no, <laughs> I I am not the mayor of New Hashima. The <laughs> the mayors of New Hashima are Stefan and Simon, not me. Uh, yes, but they still defer to you for certain things. So let's just just call it. We'll, we'll just call it what it is. Okay, call it what it is. I love it. So, no, it's exciting. Brian's getting really amped. I haven't seen him built this much in years. So, yay! Yay! Freed from the shackles of GBC, his creativity is. <laughs> yeah, it's just like he's like, yeah, that was kind of boring. Um, why was I doing that? And I'm like, I don't know. I did it for a few months and I got bored. So, it was your thing at that point. Well, I mean, we kind of equated this to that was it was <laughs> eclipse is coming. We, <laughs> that, that that looks more like a snow reference to me, but um, I, I think Brian fell into the he he was a dog with a bone, and he just was not going to let that go. He just had to. He was trying to make fetch happen. Yep. Mm. 
And you know what they say, once they get started, just best let them finish. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, on Saturday, I had to drive up to uh, Mayretta and uh, take my car for an oil change. So I uh, had lunch with Mr. Friend of the Show, Chris Campbell, uh, at the Marietta Diner. And we were speculating upon why a certain David Zuhl wanted the... Files from me for the Star Justice and the Space Skulls. <gasps> Please say it's happening. We were just wondering. We were just wondering what, 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 what could this nefarious character be up to? Well, unfortunately, it's not as nefarious as it sounds. But uh, I and you weren't on last week, but I have been. Space Skulls mm. and Star Justice. Mm, a whole bag of evil. Whole bag of evil. I even I even bought an extra head because I didn't realize how expensive those space skull heads were. Um, they're they're not cheap anymore as they used to be. Really? So, it's, it's, uh, it's the very the evil frowning, ones. Yeah. It's the frowning skull, right? It's well, it's it's yeah, it's the frowning skull. But now, like, I thought I had plenty of those, but I have all the happy skulls, not the evil skulls. So I had to order some evil skulls. And I'm waiting on <laughs> uh, some torsos in uh, light bluish gray and black to come in. Uh, I will probably, when I put these together, I will use one of these bad boys at first, but then I will get with Mr. Campbell and we will swap them out for printed versions. And Unfortunately, we're like three years too or four years too early for the 20th anniversary of Space Skulls and Star Justice, but we'll have printed ones available for the general public at some point. I'm sure it will be a big anniversary. Yes. Dude. Oh, yeah. Ten, ten, tens of people will join in the, the uh, festivities. Rich mark your, mark Rich your calendars right now. Yeah, but you yes, know, I, if he does it, he needs to take that sticker and, and go, you know, like edge to edge and make it, you know, oh, like we right? wanted to. We were like, they were like, oh, it has to, there has to be a, you know, all this kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, they need that, that edge around the sticker because that's what they do. But no, the printed one, when we do it, we will make it look like a minifigure print because, you know, Mr. Campbell is uh, a quality control freak that i mean he's not he's not a control freak for everything but when it comes to minifigures and printing he is very meticulous on how he likes to have it done i sent him a file for something and he's like you know that that that's not centered right you know i'm like uh no i i didn't know because i was using somebody else's file he's like i'm gonna have to fix it now <laughs> okay chris <laughs> Aubrey needs more information about space skulls. They are very well, evil. The thing about space skulls is evil will always win because good is dumb. <laughs> good is dumb. <laughs> Love it. Yes, yes, we are. And they dumb. will stay in your collection forever. It's dumb, That's right? Good is dumb. But the reason that I'm doing this and that I actually had the stickers and I'm parting out is because for those of you who may or may not know, uh, Chris and Mark did design. Star Justice and the Space Skulls, and Mark actually still had some of his bequeathed copies uh, that he got from Lego that I traded him some Ninjago sets for, Ooh. and I, I had them, and I was all excited because I, I really wanted to get them, and I was they were on my Bricklink list. I'm like, I'm, I mean, I just know it was going to be a nightmare to sh pay for shipping for them. He's like, oh, here we got to taken care of, but then when I got them, I, I, I couldn't bring myself to open them. <laughs> so. Uh, luckily, as as Chris even mentioned uh, not that long ago, they're they're basically made up of mostly common parts, and I think I had again 95, 98 percent of the parts for both sets. I just had to spend about I would say it was about maybe about twenty bucks, twenty bucks to get the remaining parts and the last uh, few pieces. I'm expecting tomorrow or maybe Wednesday, the latest, uh, which are the torsos, uh, so I can build them. But I got to give it to you, Mark. Um, those little Technic hinge clip barrels or whatever they're, what, I don't know what, what you call them. The clicky ones? The click the, the clicky ones. There's like 84 or 94 of those things. <laughs> <laughs> I had like eight. So I had to, <laughs> had to brick link those. Had to brick link those. And then there was something else that was odd that I thought was really strange. Uh, oh, Chris has these red 
domed pieces that I just thought were regular rounded barrels. But no, they're the actual ones that would fit over a minifigure head. And those oh. were not common. Which um, ones? The 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 the, 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 glow, um, the crystal ball cover that they used to have that was just uh, what's in the new no 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 not the crystal ball cover no no but I mean what's in the new space uh, the space the, costume guys the bell jar the bell jar yeah yes yes the bell jar the the, the bell jar these these guys yeah yeah, yeah. Those, those I did not have those I had to order um so yeah yeah I use those in red that's right I use those in red to make the little tanks I forgot yep. yeah, yeah yeah as opposed to what you would normally have used to make the tanks which would have been just the the rounded pieces but no yeah but yeah still 95 98% of, my, of the parts for that you could probably pull out of your inventory Great. except for the sticker sheets which I had to order and I'd ordered those from someplace long long ago but I'm excited so sometime this week hopefully Fun. Build some Star Justice and Space Skulls. Space. Get all sorts of Space. evil going on. Skulls. Evil. Evil. Like this, Let's like go around the room it. a little bit and check in on other folks. Uh, hello, Rich. How are you, sir? I, I'm i good. Can you hear me? We can hear you. I got to do a headset. Looking about you better than great. normal. Who is this guy? Who is this guy? Uh, you, can, you can't hear me. We no, can. We can, we can hear you, hear you. you can hear me? Yes. You get, oh, you can hear me great. Yes, new headset. Woohoo! Okay, thanks. Uh, we had uh, our store celebrated our two year anniversary this past oh. weekend. We did very, very well. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, but else, otherwise, there's nothing super cool. Maybe I can go outside and, or, oh. <laughs> you know, we, oh. we jinxed him by saying it was doing well. Yeah, uh, his audio, but let's just have a remembrance of Rich. All right, there he goes. So <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's check in with Steve. Welcome, Rich. Maybe climbing back in, but Steve, how are you today? I'm all right. I don't. Uh, I'm not uh, 100% on board with all the eclipse hype, but. Uh, I'm more in the the Meredith camp where I'm like, all right, cool, let's get back to work. But uh, I don't know. This weekend was uh, pretty productive, actually. Um, I thought I was going to take most of the weekend to light my bugle, and I ended up doing that. In the <laughs> 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 you know, like that? Sorry. Uh <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> no, I, I I put lights inside of one of my Lego buildings. And I did it's, that the first night. It, it's been a minute since I've used this, so let me. <laughs> there we go, babe. <laughs> All right, you guys, words hurt sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, I got that all done, and then I, I finished all of the glitching, so I don't have to do any more multicolored vomit rock work. I'm done. Nice. So that's all I really got. You guys hurt my feelings too much, so. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to talk anymore. Oh, you big baby! Coming in here talking about lighting your bugle, and you know, yeah, I mean, that, hum, he he's had that line all weekend. He was ready to drop it. I can I can see it. He was <laughs> awesome. I'm done. Oh me! Did we lose? Her? Oh, there's Rich again. There he is. Hi. Hello. Sorry about that. Hello. Apparently sorry. Was, hey, your better your better connection only wor works if you're on the couch. So you have to go did, back. Did you lock yourself outside? Yeah. Is that what's going on? Well, you, I pulled out my device so that I could show you the new window, which is actually an old window, but with new stuff. So Forbidden Island. Nice. On an actual C mount. You guys are gonna rip them for that. Under <laughs> That's, that's undersea stuff that? happening. Uh, yeah, I looked too close at the. Uh, I looked at the eclipse today, and when I closed my eyes, I could see the shape of the eclipse on my eyelids. Turned in. So that's that's what we got going on. I had that done before the uh, the weekend came. So that was awesome. 
I was happy about that. Otherwise, we had a great weekend, and I I don't have to like dream about monorail on my screen. I can just look at it. Monorail flex. Such flex. It's the battery's dead. Ah, people oh. died. It's okay. <laughs> That was the best. <laughs> <laughs> Simon Simon Lou uh, reminded me today. Today is monorail episode of Simpsons. Um, without the eclipse, the monorail, monorail would not run out of en energy. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's monorail. right. Monorail. Right. Well, my son, of course, during the during the eclipse, sends me the clip from that episode where Leonard Dean Boy is. Uh, you know, the, the, the dance of the universe the dance goes of the on. Years. Yeah, yeah. Cosmic Ballet. And yeah. hey, anybody want my seat? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's my favorite. Montreal. That's right. All right. Uh, Ben Winden, how are you? Sir? Montreal. Not bad. I, uh, I attempted to trick my kid this afternoon to say, we're going to have power edges later when there's the eclipse, but he didn't fall for it. Um, but, you know, eventually that might actually be a thing if we're all solar, right? Can you say that joke fell flat? Yeah, I did. Horribly flat. So, um, so uh, I haven't really done a lot of Lego stuff this week, um, but we have start, me and my son have started playing uh, Catan, Settlers of Catan, Ooh. not the kids' version. Like he's, he's old enough now, well, more than old enough now to play the regular version. So I've been dad joking him all day, or like every time we've been playing about you know needing wood and having sheep and all that stuff. Um, so it's been embarrassing for him, but at the same time, he's just coming right back with the same similar types of jokes. Uh, I was going to say cracks, but I think that got a little bit too far into it, so we won't go there. Um, uh, I need wood. I, Anyone got wood? <laughs> all I have is oh, sheep. We call, we, call, sheep for we, call, we call the sheep sheeple. Sheeple? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've been uh, playing some board games. Uh, he's taking a uh, break from social media for a few for, for the week. Uh, so suddenly it's like, hey, I want to play board games. And I think I've finally moved them in to liking board games. Um, so hopefully that continues on in the future. Um, we did get 99% uh, of the Eclipse here. Uh, the other 1% was just too far away. No. Uh, the other 1% was uh, you know, a 30-minute drive south, but we had massive clouds move in in the early afternoon. And it luckily broke in our area, but if, if I had gone south to where uh, where the... Full eclipse was they were completely clouded in, so uh, I'm glad I didn't go and waste my time and not see anything. Um, so, but uh, but yeah, we were talking before the chat uh, that you know, like birds were chirping louder than normal during the eclipse. The mosquitoes came out here, which I haven't seen a single mosquito yet, and suddenly I'm being attacked on our laneway by a bunch of uh, mosquitoes. Uh, what else would do we notice? Oh yeah, lights on the houses were going on, like your fog lights or your uh, spotlights and stuff. So, uh, but yeah, that's about all I have. I didn't get a chance to build much. I brought I brought a Lego set. I went to a friend's on the weekend. I brought uh, the latest space base attachment, the April first release, and I never got a chance to actually build it. So, hopefully, I'll build that sometime this week. So, cool, cool, cool. All right, Misty, Matt, what's up, Mister Eclipse? So. Uh, my parents, you know, my Lego obsession as an adult has really developed, uh, you know, since I haven't lived at home in a very long time. So this uh, whole Lego thing as an adult is something they've kind of seen from afar and they've seen me post pictures of going to conventions and all that kind of stuff. And uh, in a lot of ways, this they, they flew in on um, Tuesday this week and they flew out on Sunday. So they were here for about, about, uh, about five days. And it's really the first time. Uh, that they have seen some of my builds uh, in person because it's been it's been a couple of years since they came out this way. I usually go out to Denver where they're at. So I set up the mosaic on um, the second day they were here and put the panels up. And uh, for me, the mosaic is something that I worked on, but it's done. It's kind of like, you know, I, I still take it to shows, but my mind isn't engaged in that project because that project's finished. But they were just, <laughs> they were like, Fan parents at a show, they were like, Oh my gosh, how did you do this? And like, what about this? And they, all the questions I would get at shows, I was getting them from my parents, which was slightly weird, uh, but fun. I mean, I don't know. So, and they were like, Oh, this is really great. This is so creative. And I'm like, 
actually less creative than other things. <laughs> like it's kind of paint by number once you get, you know, the template on the computer and you just, it's more about project management and patience and endurance and less about creativity. Uh, some of my buildings that I've made are require a lot more creativity than, than that did. And uh, so <laughs> we're talking, my, my dad, he, like the third day he goes, is it okay if I take some of the pictures of your buildings? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> it will steal their souls. Please do not. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Um, and I have, um, I'm building some build. I am, I'm building some uh, building stuff for under contract. So I won't show it because I don't know if the person, uh, what the person, if they want people to see it or not. So I'm not going to put it on the screen. But uh, I have this table set up, this big white folding table set up behind the couch. And so we watched a couple of movies and I brought down like bins and bins of different, uh, a couple color palettes I'm working with. And so everybody's watching the movie and I'm sitting there back there and I'm like, you know, working on the door and then around the windows. And I do one story, two story, three story. And my dad's like, I can't believe you built all that while we were watching a movie. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just interesting because you know my spouse has been around me the whole time i've been interested in lego so it's just been like in the constantly in the background of our relationship like he's never not known me when i wasn't interested in lego uh but my parents like they haven't been around when i'm doing stuff and because they were here for a couple days and because I'm behind on the uh, building project. <laughs> I was like, well, I'm going to just sit back here and work and we can talk. I'm just going to be building. And so um, I built one, one building while, while we're watching the movie. And then they were like, okay, we're going to go to bed. And uh, I had about two hours left and I built an, another whole building while they were upstairs. <laughs> they came down and they're like, you built a second building. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I mean, you know, I kind of figured out the template and I'm basically just, you know, swap some colors, but the, the overall architecture of it. Uh, and if you're a builder, you kind of know, like once you figure figure something out, it's really not that hard to, to do it a second time in a different color at all. But you have you know, brownies but, in a closet somewhere. You know, they, they just uh, they don't have any they, they don't build and they're they don't really hang out with people who build so it was actually i found it personally very amusing just to see the things that they would comment about and the reactions that they had and um you know i mean they would say things that, oh that must have been really difficult and i was like well actually that that's not very difficult <laughs> you know, like, and they get you, you know if, if you build for a while you kind of these are just tricks you know you learn how you you know you do certain things uh, and you know, it's like space things. There's kind of known tricks, buildings, kind of known tricks as well. Um, so it, it was fun. Uh, it was fun to kind of let them be present, uh, when I'm engaging in my hobby and, you know, get their, uh, interaction and feedback and that kind of stuff. So I would say actually now they're even more, uh, like gung ho. They're like, well, you need to come out to a Denver show. Like, you know, we want to see your stuff at a show and we can go and bring, maybe bring some friends and stuff. And I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to go to a Denver show one of these years. So cool. that was, uh, I don't know. It was kind of cute. I liked it. That's awesome. That's awesome. It, it is cool. Like there's, I, I can remember a moment dad coming when we moved in and stuff like that. And Fooling around the Lego room because I mean, you know, what the heck? You, you know, anyway, <laughs> then he saw some things and he it, it just it kind of hit him as like, okay, maybe he's good at that, you know, kind of thing. So, um, <laughs> it, it, more understanding and everything. It's good to get that acknowledgement though, it, that kind of like, uh, okay, you're we thought you were weird, maybe, maybe you weren't. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We didn't, we don't really understand your hobby, but we, we like it at least. <laughs> you know? Then they, right. they get in the car when they leave and they're like, man, it's worse than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Lord. He's a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, my dad never gets weirded out anymore because he's like, you had, you had, you had tires in your living room when you were younger. He goes, none of your hobbies weird me out anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Uh, yeah, dad, I mean, uh, there's been points where my, my dad has commented on, you know, what Legos cost and stuff. And I'm like, you know what, dad, my Lego set costs less than your round of golf. And I get to keep my Lego at my house. So <laughs> your round of golf left. So, um, 
Anyway, they asked a, right. they asked a bunch of questions about the Bricklink resale business and about how it works. My mother, who's who's an accountant, she's like, "Why well, do you keep you know what keep track of all this stuff?" You know, it's like so her that part of her brain was engaged when I was talking about Bricklink business. <laughs> <laughs> He's your son. <laughs> your kid. Yep. All right, Mr. Sandland, what's up? Nothing much for me. I um. I haven't been doing a ton of Lego stuff lately. Last week, I went out to Denver to visit a college buddy of mine, and one of my other old college buddies flew from Oregon to Denver. We met up and had a fun time over the weekend and stuff. And then they told me that um, my buddy Keith, who uh, he has met um, Ryan Wood, our friend of the show, um, and he sort of did an end run around me and talked to Ryan and um, got Ryan to pick up the Dungeons and Dragons set for me. Oh, at Legoland. oh, so yeah, my, my buddies bought the set for me for uh, my birthday, which was really great and awesome and everything. Problem is, Aww. I don't get, get to have it yet. <laughs> this has got to get shipped from Ryan. <laughs> well, actually, we're not going to ship it because Paul and I were going to go down um when he's out of school, we're going to go down to Legoland and visit and stuff. And I told Ryan, just there's no point in paying extra money to ship and everything. We'll just yeah. get it when we're down there. So I have to wait a few weeks, you know, till uh, the first of June. But um, unfortunately, they did not have the mimic GWP at Legoland. So oh, I miss out on that one. But that's OK. I'm excited. It's awesome. And it was a great gift, uh, you know, for my buddies to get that. These are buddies that I've played D and D with in college, and in the years since we've played off and on. So that was, uh, you know, had a bit of meaning to it as well. So that's really, really cool, and uh, it's pretty thoughtful. So, I don't, yeah, I don't... it was great. It was, it was very cool, and um, had a good time out in Denver. It was uh, pretty nice, and they built a new Bucky's about ten minutes from my buddy's house. Woo. So I got to introduce them to Bucky's because neither of them had ever been to a Bucky's before. Ooh, Bucky Virgins. Yeah. So that was all, so all I, your I was like, okay, we got to go to Bucky's. Like, you know, we have to make the pilgrimage. And they're they were sort of like, there's a gas station. And they, they didn't know. They didn't know until we got there. And by the time we walked out the door, they both had t-shirts. So <laughs> wow. Classic. Yes. So I, I made believers of them. And we uh we 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 got lots of snacks and we got uh, uh various things from the brisket bar you know i had a brisket sandwich and the guys had uh i think a couple of tacos and a burrito and we got some of the the chips the fresh made chips they make and mm -hmm. so um yeah it was fun we had a good time i went to a really cool comic shop out there that was um I think the comic Mom. shop was technically in Boulder, and it was, was called it, Time was War. It, it wasn't Mile High Comics. That was the no, one. I went to Mile High a year ago when I went out, or two a year and a half ago when I went out there. And Mile High is neat, but it's sort of, it's sort of like a big warehouse full of crap that also has some comics in it. It's sort of really? okay. Yeah, it's it's more of like comics and ancillary nerd stuff. That's kind of it's like um, a second in Charles kind of thing uh junkier think warehouse okay like, but um i mean mile high was sort of neat to see but the the comic shop we went to in boulder was called uh time warp and it was just a really solid just good comic shop that had a lot of stuff a lot of um good selection of stuff and that was fun we have uh, been probably an hour just walking around in there and <clears throat> <clears throat> so it was uh it was good i ended up picking up um something for small paul when i was there i got him the uh, godzilla versus the justice league comics that have come out recently so i brought those home for him so he was thrilled with that we we saw godzilla when it came out last week and um it was uh big dumb and loud and he loved it <laughs> So am I. That's great. He's my best friend. <laughs> uh, well, we already talked to to Dana, and Dana left. That I was going to give Dana. I'm still here. Oh, you're still there. Well, I'm just I'm 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 pulling stuff. So yes, we can oh. hear it. 
Hey, by the way, we did not give, uh, I don't think we've given uh, uh, Mark grief about turning 50. The big 5-0. Happy birthday. Woo. Time to bend over. I'm sorry. Uh, yep. <laughs> we need the whole. Hawaii. It's all over, Mark. It's done. You're done. I, got a, I have a lit bugle over here. Yeah. So, Doc, you going to use all five fingers? I, you know what? I, I've already done. I've already done the scopes in both ends because I have a, Ooh. I have the the reflux disease thing, and I went through that whole deal five years ago. So the scopes in both ends. Did they do them both at the same time? Yeah. Cool. Did they shake hands yeah. in the middle? That's what that's what my dad asked. And that's how you know. Yeah. And that's how you light a bugle. I, I was I was knocked out, so I I don't have no recollection. Oh, lit, lit. That's how you light a bugle. There, uh, there are things that are there are comments in my head that I'm keeping there for this. So. Thank you. Thank you. Should That's I talk about gift. the text uh, thing from last night? I, I was like, there's those friends that you would call if your tire blew out and you're on the side of the road, and then there's those friends you call if you need someone to take you to the colonoscopy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like these different tears. You know? <laughs> I'll stop there. I'll this, stop is here. this is true. <laughs> this is true. Uh, all right, Dana. I was uh, about to join up, but you're the one that brought us to this lowly state. So <laughs> it's my superpower. It is. <laughs> it is my superpower. So um I've been doing a lot of taking stuff apart, uh, and sorting some stuff. I'm down to I got to do some bracket reassessment here because my two tubs have spilled over. So I need to add a, another tub of brackets. So that'll, that'll happen. Um, and unfortunately I had to take some stuff apart, but I, I don't know about you guys, but every so often when I take a mock apart, there are certain things that I can't take apart. So my little, elf boats, apart. my little elf boats, they survived, but the trees and the water has since uh, gone to the wayside. The trees got repurposed for new Hashima. So I thought, all right, let's go ahead and disassemble the rest of that. Um, I did do, and if you guys follow me on Instagram, I did take Happy Valley and start laying that out. I've got some work in progress going on that. Uh, I've got most of most of the foundation ready to go. So now I can start actually doing some mocking and doing some terrain work and working on some stuff. And then I got one of these in today in trans purple. Mm -hmm. So naturally, uh, I need to rebuild this uh, but with trans purple. Ooh. So uh, this part does come in white, but uh, a mini dowel will not fit in here exactly the way it is designed because it is designed to fit specifically for a minifigure and a mini dowel is slightly taller. So I'm actually reverse engineering the parts from parts and rebuilding this so that I have a little more flexibility because this thing, while it's great for four plus builders, I need some uh, ability to move some things around. So I'm expecting that probably tomorrow, maybe maybe even later tonight, man, probably tomorrow, I'll have the Friends Tron version of this little modular scooter thing going on. So that's what I've been working on. You know, and then of course we talked about, about space skulls and Stardustus. Yeah, mad props to that little four plus set because it it is it is inexpensive compared to what others are at that size, and it's yeah. it's stock full of parts. I yeah, mean, good parts except for that stupid wing piece. But. It, well, yeah, except for the big poop. But I'm de pooping <laughs> it. <laughs> That's debatable, depending on who you talk to. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I have news to share. Um, oh, do we drum roll! Music? Drum roll! Do we have the music? Uh, I don't know. No, we, we don't have any are, music. Without uh, music. Uh, in two weeks, I, I well, I turned in my notice today at my current place of employment. And in two weeks, we are going to start making the transition to the great state of South Carolina. So uh, there should be an applause can, there. Is there an there's... eclipse on that flag? <laughs> yeah, there is right there. <laughs> the moon was on well, the other side, but. Um, well we uh I, I will start working at uh, first baptist of charleston south carolina um in a very historic place and and their, their sanctuary was built in 1822 um the 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 place itself was founded in 
five or something like that. Anyway, are you it's like the, the oldest, the oldest gonna, church in like the South or something like that? Are, are you going to be playing the role of the hunchback? Yes, I will be living up in the. Actually, we're, we're going to be living in an, an, an apartment on campus, maybe for a little bit before we want to get settled. And yeah, I could be, I will be that that old guy down there, just schlepping through the alleyways and stuff like that, and at night. But uh, I was going to say, technically, he is looking for sanctuary when he gets down there. So. <laughs> that's, right, that's right. That's and right. They're, they're and there. Thank you for explaining my joke. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So that means that uh, there's there may be a lot of changes, especially when it comes. I may be downsizing Lego collection a little bit um, with housing expensive, and there's no basements in Charleston, believe it or not, because uh, it's wet down there. Um, there may be a loft or whatever, but I, there's a good chance I may be downsizing or storing for a while. Is there a flooded basement? Settled. What? So do what? Is there a flooded basement? Is what he's asking. About. He just asked if it was wet down there. No, yeah, you. If you dig down, you're you're not going to have a uh, have a, a dry basement that you you don't have any. But yeah, so that means I'm going to be almost expatriated from my lug, even though I'm going to continue in my lug. Um, I'm going to be that guy, you know, and everything. So uh, <laughs> yes, that's why I'm gone. Well, this this so, will make this will make a peach lugger in Indiana. In North Carolina, <laughs> several in Florida. We're we're it's a uh, lug tentacles are spreading across the South. And again, this was my reason for wanting to call it kudzu lug, but peach one out. ain't no kudzu down uh, down there, boy. I don't oh, know. There, it's kudzu everywhere. It creeps. If 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 it's South Carolina, it should be pimento cheese lug. I'm just gonna tell you that them, them folks lug. love some pimento cheese. So. Uh, <laughs> Um, but yes, yeah, so we'll be moving, um, and, uh, there'll be some social media posts about that. You know, we, we started to slow announce that through our congregation and stuff like that. So if I'm disappearing for a little bit of time, that will be why, just cause we're in the process. Um, but, uh, so it'll be a couple of months of weirdness and everything. And it's, it's not because of sanctuary. <laughs> it is because of sanctuary. So, so what I want to know is, um, is brick fair more doable for you? Um, uh, brick fair of Virginia, I will still be under that kind of thing where with what I do, I can't be gone, but a certain number of weekends in a year. Nah. Um, so I will reserve that for Atlanta because that is now my home show. But, um, Nick and them have in the past done a show in, uh charleston a uh, small show and i hope in the fall they will return so i will actually get to do two um but i am going as far, the farthest i've ever been away from a real lego store because for some reason they put it in greenville and not in charleston um there is a very small bricks and minifig that would fit in here in charleston that will be um that will be my haunt i guess so i might I might need to have a, uh, you know, people come and visit and then bring me um, that. Yeah, there's a there's a lug in South Carolina for sure. So um, I'll, I'll be getting those texts. Hey, man, can you go over to the store and pick this up? <laughs> That's right. You know, uh, well, you know, now that Martin has decided to uh, uh, drop gears in doing Lego and is going back to photography, uh, there are several birds in his network of people who would send you pick a brick cups. So. Wait, are you saying are you saying he's not building anymore? Uh, he, he his official statement on Instagram was that he is he has reached he has reached a level in his Lego hobby that he feels very satisfied with, and that he doesn't feel the need to uh, he doesn't know what next that he needs to do. So he's hmm. kind of going to dial it back for a while and start going back to doing photography for a while. I, I did message him privately and say, and, and I, we had a, a small conversation, but he said he's still going to build. Oh. He's just no longer going to be posting everything he builds on social media because yeah. he's reached the, the peak of what he wanted to do or yeah. whatever in, in that. So, yeah, I could tell that, I mean, he was the way he was talking to, you know, like he's not going to, he's going to still go to a couple of shows and show, yeah the big things he's built, but he's not going to be in the rush rush to really plop down new stuff and yeah. all that kind of jazz. So. Which yeah. is good for the rest of us. <laughs> then we can build something. 
Especially people who like to build Disney stuff. Yes, yes. That's true. Or want to go and actually find brick that he hasn't scoffered off with and cleared out with. Exactly. You know. That's right. So, so Martin was my first big inspiration on building, and he was my theme leader at my very first Lego convention. So, Martin has a fond place in my mock building heart. He always will. Well. And, yeah. the, and the truth of the matter is sometimes it can be advantageous to step away and refresh and come back. So, I mean, Martin's got so much talent that I could easily imagine him storming back onto the scene and however many months and blowing our mind. So, you know, he hasn't, he hasn't given up on it. As far as I can tell, he just, you know, he needs a sorbet. Taking so, a break. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I think Martin is, he's got to have something to drive him to do something, you know, extreme and amazing and all that kind of stuff. And he's, he's hit those heights. So kind of back that off and everything. So that's well. You know, my, my assumption. And I'm just throwing this out there is, you know, he'll still keep doing, but I think his next big, like the Martin uh, revival will be when he has grandchildren. Oh, because and he builds them an entire playpen out of Lego that they can actually play it. Absolutely. Now. Absolutely. I, I, I'm just guessing because, I mean, one of his things, you know, with kids that really kind of. Yeah, even, it was his son, I think, because his son yeah. got into Lego Star Wars and he started building with his son. So yeah. and then his daughter got was, was a, a few years younger and then she started building. So they were all building and yep. now they're all teenagers. Yep. And and the odds are that when there are grandchildren, that's when the the second cycle will happen. Yeah. Oh, and uh, by the way, you know, one of the things I said is is we got to downsize. Well, that's why I bought all this clearance the other day because I don't know if we went to Kroger, there was clearance, and then Jake, then Jake uh, gets the Batman set. So there it is, right there. Yes, uh, lovely. Lurking in the shadows. Lurking in the shadows. So the Batman set is pretty amazing. I. I didn't like it at first from the pictures, but in person, it, it is really, it's, really, really slick. So. It's impressive. Spoken like a true addict. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like that drug. Give me some. So <laughs> It makes me feel weird, but I like it. Like Y'all got any more of that, that, that them Lego bricks? <laughs> yeah, more but, that. Uh, anyway. um, Chris, there is a, uh, a, a comment on the chat, my phone. My sister's asking if you're going to continue with old gray bricks yes. once you move down there. Like, you'll probably be a few weeks that you won't do it, obviously, I would think. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. If all of a sudden I'm not on, it's not like, you know, it's just I've, I'm in between or whatever. But I will tell you this. There's going to be some time where I'm there and my my family and my bricks are here. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to be sitting in a little apartment by myself. So, yeah, I, I'm going to need some friends to talk to. So. And I'm 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 assuming that you will go find yourself a little clearance honey hole and buy some sets and just sit there in the apartment by yourself and you'll be like, family? What family? I don't got any family. I got everything I need right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something like that. Um, but <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I do want to scope out outside of the Charleston bubble to start looking in small towns in South Carolina for Lego clearance. So woohoo. Got to start. Got to start looking. You you may become your own bricks and minifigures store. <laughs> oh, and you will like this, Stanley. You'll know that. Yeah, right. Uh, in fact, I could open one for sure. I just plot this down like across the way, and you know, start selling it. The, uh, the speaking of Waffle House, the the episode with Anthony Bourdain does the his Waffle House thing is the Waffle House closest to where I'll be. So I'm going to have to pay homage to that and go sit down in that Waffle House and eat. Daily. So, uh, no, hourly. He's going to pay homage to that and go in every hour will, he can. You, they will know you by name, I'm sure. That's Yes, they will. They, well, they know me by name here. <laughs> I, I, that was a given. That was a given. That was a given. Oh, me. All right. So anyway, but that's happening for us and uh, that may affect us being on the show. Ogre Bricks will continue for sure. So uh, and so uh, we we can dismiss the rumors about you and Jake being on season six of Lego Masters. Yeah, you could do that. Really, this really is fast. just an elaborate cover story. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> and sorry. Okay, well, I, you know, after you move, you have to do the uh, Brian Roney style thing where you like tape a Lego box to the wall behind you. You know. <laughs> And have sorry, the word space spelled wrong and stuck behind me on the 
<laughs> One more question from the peanut gallery. Uh, uh -huh. Will you be on the chat on Monday of next week? Will I be on the chat Monday of yes. next week? I very specific. So, yeah. It is. But you know, other people might know what I'm talking about. I anyway. I think I, I think we're I think we're sure we we shall be fine. I yes, we shall okay. be fine. I agree. I I, I concur with that. So yes. I don't just make sure you're here next Monday. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will not be here. I will not be here next Monday. I will be in Washington D.C. <laughs> what are you, are you going to speak to Congress? What are you doing? Uh, we are taking forty college students to our nation's capital, some of whom have never been on an airplane. It'll be great. Are you going to leave them there? <laughs> we will try not to leave. Them. Wow, this sounds like eighth grade, and I didn't get to go either. <laughs> yeah, this totally sounds like eighth grade. Yeah, like Spider-Man. It's like eighth grade, but the leader goes, you're all adults. So if you want to go out after 10 o'clock at night, I don't care. Just be there in the morning. And I was like, cringe, cringe, cringe. <laughs> hey, when I was in college, I missed an art history trip to Europe because I had to have a hernia repair surgery. Oh, It was a month with the art history teacher traveling through museums in Europe. Oh, that sucks. Oh, you would you would have had surgery, so I stayed home for a month. Sounds like you, you got the better end of the deal there. No, <laughs> no, no, I didn't. No, no, no. Did you get a really car, though. That's all right, man. Cool. Oh, did we? Did you just talk about Matthew uh, crossing the streams when he did his conference and he talked about maps to his his peers? And my they, my they, paper was on maps. Yes, and you yeah. and I mean, talk about taking your 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 hobby and and just tearing off the front cover and slapping a new cover on top of it and and turning it in for homework and be I, like, I need to figure out how to do a paper on Lego in a political science convention. Like I. I'm, I'm this glow to maxing out. When I do that, I will hit peak overlap. So. I mean, the ma I mean, doing maps with counties. I mean, I was like, I'm like, he didn't even have to do any research for this. Yeah. Oh, that I is did. his own chat GBT for himself. And furthermore, he lives for. I got the com comment that no one ever gets at a political science meeting. Your paper was fun. I was like. <laughs> A fun political science paper? This is great. Uh, Matt, was that I person with their mom? I'm just asking. <laughs> uh, Matt, I have a solution for your Lego in a political form. Okay. This I'm is one of our, your former presidents. <laughs> <laughs> Not orange enough. No, okay, well, the reddish orange I don't have handy here. So. <sighs> hey, I got to go get Nat to bed. Yeah, we got to wind this down. I got credit. Yeah, we're about to. Mer Meredith, glad you're here. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Uh, be awesome and build awesome. Be kind to your neighbor. And I'm glad no one burned their retinas out today. <laughs> Good night, everybody.